Hey y'all, this is Tyler Johnson, Library Assistant with the Lexington County Public Library System. Today I want to show y'all how to do simple job searches in SC Works. And very importantly, I also want to show you how to make sure that your job searches are being recorded properly. So in order to receive unemployment insurance in South Carolina, it's necessary to perform at least two job searches in SC Works every week. So it's really good to know that those searches are being recorded properly. So we're going to show you how to do that as well. All right, so we start off by going to jobs.scworks.org. And once we're here, we're going to go ahead and log in. If y'all would like to see a video walking you through how to sign up for SC Works, we're definitely happy to do that. Just let us know and we can get that rolling for you. All right, so we've got an account. We're going to sign in here. Okay, so this is what the landing page looks like in SC Works when you first log in. And if you're new to SC Works, there are a ton of menus. There are, is a ton of information in here. It can be a little intimidating if you're new. But today we're just going to focus on the basics. So before we do a simple job search, I want to go ahead and show you where you can check to see where your job searches are being recorded. So if we focus our attention kind of in the center of the screen here, I'm going to scroll down. And as you see, we've got all these different little boxes or widgets. Each of these widgets has a given name, like this one here is career services. This one here is community services and benefits. If you want to check to see how many job searches you've done in a given week, you're going to come down here in the middle and look for the widget that says work search log. So I'm going to scroll through here till I find the work search log. And here it is down at the very bottom. Keep in mind this work search log widget, it might be in a slightly different place um, on your dashboard. So just look through until you find it. If you can't find it, don't panic. In another video, I'm going to show you how to go about retrieving this if it disappears. OK, so once you find the work search log, what you really want to hone in on is this line here where it says zero job searches. Now, as you go about doing your job searches every week, this zero here is going to start ticking up. So if you do one job search, it's going to say one or two, three, however many job searches you do, it's going to be recorded here. If you notice, too, we have a little red X. If you see this little red X in your work search log, this tells you immediately you haven't done the necessary number of job searches that week. So once you do at least two job searches, this little red X is going to change into a green check mark, which tells you that you've done your mandatory job searches and as long as everything else goes all right you should be receiving your unemployment insurance for the week so now that now that we know where to find this work search log let's head up back to the top and i'll show you how to do simple job searches so the easiest way to do a job search is to go to the left hand side we have these different menus here we want to go to the quick menu and we want to select job search here. So I'm going to click on job search. Now you can do all sorts of advanced searches on the job search page, but today we just want to keep it simple. So we're going to go down here to where it says keywords and we're going to type in what we're interested in. For example, if I'm interested in construction work, I can just type in a keyword like construction. If I'm interested in teaching, maybe I can just type in teacher. So whatever kind of job you're interested in, you're going to type that in here. So I myself have worked in libraries for a while, so maybe I'm interested in library jobs. So I'll type in library. And as you notice, as I start typing, all these little suggestions will pop up here. Now, what I suggest is you go through this list here and pick out whatever seems most relevant to your interests. So I'm going to select library assistant here and it filled it in for me. Now that I've chosen one, I'm going to hit search. Okay, now it's created a whole list of job postings for me. 
or job descriptions. So at this point, you need to go through and you need to actually click on a job description. Just searching in the keyword field does not count towards your job searches. You actually got to do a keyword search and click on a, on a listing here. So here's something that might be interesting to me, library, Librarian 3. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it's going to take me to the page here. And it's going to show me what's necessary for the job, right? So it's going to tell me um, a little bit, some basics about the job, give me a job description. It'll tell me what the requirements are to apply for the job. It'll also show me where it's located. So for each job, you can just kind of scroll through here, see if it's a good fit for you. And if it's something you're interested in, you just hit how to apply and you go from there. But for our purposes, we're just trying to get the job searches done for the uh, uninsurance. uninsurance. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back and that should have counted as one job search. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard and we're just going to check to make sure it got logged properly. So we're going to scroll back down. Doop. And you see there we got one job search done for the week. So to get that second one in, we're going to go back up we are going to click on job search and we're going to do this over again. Now, one thing to keep in mind is in order for you to get your second job search in, whatever you put in here needs to be slightly different. I can't put in librarian again and it count my job search. Let's try something a little different. Let's try teacher. All right, so we'll click on teacher and we'll do a search. Okay, same thing. We have all the job postings. We're going to click on one that's interesting to us. So let's try this one. And we'll go through here and we will find what we're interested in. Okay, let's go back to my dashboard. And we're going to go down. Yep, and there we go. We got two job searches in for the week. So I hope this is helpful for y'all. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or give us a ring and we'll be glad to help you out.